In today's Throwback Thursday video, we're gonna be taking a look at a figure from the 2007 30th anniversary line. It is Hermie Odell. Hey there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. As mentioned before, this is Throwback Thursday. This is the series where I look at an older figure from my collection. And today I'm going to be opening the figure from the 30th anniversary line. It is of course Hermie Odell or Odell. Not too sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going for Hermie Odell. And basically this is a figure from Jabba's Palace. So obviously we recently got the Jabba's Palace playset. And I'm looking at my older figures that I have in my collection that are going to be useful for that particular diorama. So it's the turn of Hermie Odell. And we're going to be opening them up and we're going to be taking a look at this great figure. So first of all, we're going to be taking a look at the packaging quickly. So this is, as I mentioned, the 30th anniversary line. So the back of the card there, we have some other figures in that line or in that wave. It's from 2007, obviously, because it's the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. There is a bit of a read up there about Hermie Odell. So he's an expert at crafting weapons and helps fortify Jabba's palace against attack from the hut's many enemies. When Jabba attempts to execute the rebels at the pit of Carcoon, Odal defends the sail barge with a stun weapon. However, he accidentally stuns one of Jabba's skiff guards, thus inadvertently helping the rebels. So, a bit of a gaff on his part there, but there he is. There's a nice picture of him from the film. He is one ugly dude. But the figure is great, and we're going to be taking a look at him now. So, there's the 30th anniversary packaging. It does come with a collector's coin. Right, let's crack this guy open and take a look. All right, okay, so here is the figure out of the packet, and as you can see, it's a pretty amazing sculpt. Look at that tongue hanging out there. He is one ugly dude. So, as I said, this is a guy from Jabba's Palace, and as you can see, loads of detailing going on on the sculpt there. They've really done a fantastic job with that. And there is actually some articulation with this figure as well, so he does, if I move his cloak out of the way, he does actually have sort of hinged arms there, which move up and down and round. Same with the other arm there, we've got a hinge there. So it actually does come right out like that. Nice big hinge. So amazing articulation for such, such a huge figure. There is actually articulation on the mouth as well. So you can have his mouth closed with his tongue hanging out there. Well, I quite like him there with it open. So we've got some nice paint apps on there as well. It's nice yellow eyes. He is very sort of hunchback of Notre Dame-esque, as you can see there. He's got a big hump on his back. If we actually move his cloak out of the way, you can see all the sculpting going on there. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this figure. And also, if you like these Throwback Thursday videos where I sort of get an old figure out from my collection, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you like the video, of course, hit that like button, really does help the channel. Um, but yeah, you can see he's got a weird pair of shorts on there, some sculpting going on on his feet with the strapping. He's got these really long toes and feet there. I guess that's gonna help with the balance of him to stand up. But he is a really big figure, so I would imagine that the only figure that's probably bigger than this guy in the 3.75 inch line is maybe Efant Mon. He's a pretty big figure as well. So if I just put Bosk up against him there, you can see he's just as tall, but he is like, you know, a huge figure, really weighty figure. We've got some lovely soft goods going on with his cloak and his scarf, which hang around his neck there. So that's really nice. And you can see it's all torn and worn. So it's got that sort of old effect going on, which I really, really like. The cloak hangs great on his back. So yeah, just absolutely lovely figure. I've been wanting to open this guy for a while but he did look good on his bubble but I think you know now I've got the Jabba's Palace playset he really does need to be out of that packet and standing there in that diorama on display with all the other figures I'm just going to get the weapon out for you so here's his weapon it's like a pike staff type thing so obviously that's the bit where he grips that's some nice brown paint apps there but it is just like a silver painted uh, pike there's not really too much detailing going on but it's still quite nice and it does fit in his hand pretty well so you just push that 
all the way through like that. So there he is with his weapon in hand. So he's got swivel swivel legs and he does even have a hinge on his foot as well. So you can get him into a few different poses. But he is just going to stand there looking pretty, pretty awesome with all the other jabbers, goons and entourage or whatever you want to call them that hang around him trying to impress him and what have you. And there he is. Yeah, so that this is Hermy. Odal or Odal, whichever way you choose to pronounce him. Now the 30th anniversary figures do come with coins, so hopefully I won't get too much glare off this coin. But as you can see, you can see his name there, Hermie Odal. And he is a Baraguin, I presume. That is his species. And you can see a picture of him or a sculpt of him there on the coin. Back of the coin there, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, 1977 to 2007. So it's obviously the 30th anniversary coins. These are pretty nice coins to have in a collection as well. So yeah, there you go then, guys. That is another good look at Hermy. Excellent figure to have in your collection. A little bit pricey now on the secondary market. But, uh, you know, as I said, I wasn't going to have mine sitting there in the package doing nothing. He needed to be out of that package and on display with all the other characters from Jabba's Palace. And I probably will have a few more to open over the coming weeks in Throwback Thursday. See if we can get that diorama looking really, really nice and fill it out with all the characters from Jabba's Palace. All right then, guys, that is my review of Hermie Odal. He is one of Jabba's goons. Thank you very much for watching. As per usual, hit that like button if you like this video share with all your friends and we shall see you on the next one.